Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Citrix published a new version of the Citrix application device controller, Citrix ADC, Citrix Gateway, and Citrix SD WAN. Now, uh, these are, of course, products that we have seen attacked uh, really aggressively over the last year. So any update to these products should be taken serious, even though in this case, the vulnerabilities aren't really all that critical. We have three vulnerabilities that are being addressed with this update, CVE 2020-8245. This is an HTML injection attack against the SL VPN web portal. It's probably the easiest out of the three to exploit. And essentially, the way this would be exploited is if an authenticated user, so a user that's connected to the SSL VPN, is visiting a malicious web page, content from that web page could be injected. So uh, that's basically how the attack would work. And I don't think it's a stretch to believe uh, that uh, this would be not that difficult to pull off. Next, CVE 2020-8246. This is a denial of service attack. does require access to the management network, but in the past we have often seen that uh, being exposed. No authentication required in this case, but again, only a denial of service. CVE 2020-8247, there's an escalation of approach attack, again on the management uh, interface, and the attacker must have the privilege to execute arbitrary commands on the management interface in order for this to matter. Once an attacker has the privilege to execute arbitrary commands, probably the escalation of privileges is not really all that big of a deal anymore. So in short, apply the patch, but not an emergency. And for Firefox users, there is an update for you, Firefox 81, aside from offering a few new features, this version of Firefox also uh, fixes a total of six different vulnerabilities, some of which could potentially lead to arbitrary code execution. Now, Firefox is pretty good about updating itself, but you may want to double check that you are running Firefox 81 at this point. And sometimes it's interesting to see how relatively simple security measures can actually reduce risk substantially. As an example, when it comes to ransomware, a lot of the more dangerous ransomware infestations are starting with exposed RDP servers and related vulnerability. Cyber insurance company Corvus now published some numbers. Now, one thing they're doing, and I think that's somewhat common for a lot of these cyber insurance companies, is that before they are underwriting a new client, they are performing a scan and assessment of the network and are essentially requiring that certain obvious security vulnerabilities are being remediated. Now, in April, they started adding RDP to the list of things they are scanning for. And what they found is that overall ransomware claims have since dropped by 65%. And actually, they haven't gotten any RDP cost ransomware claims for any client that they scanned prior to underwriting their insurance. And yes, uh, the team behind the famous CheckRain iOS uh, jailbreak has released an updated version, CheckRain 0.11.0, that does add support for iOS 14. Now, in part, of course, this vulnerability does rely on a flaw in the secure enclave of older CPUs. So at this point, only some older phones and iPads are affected. As far as iPhones go, currently with the updated uh, exploit, you have access to the iPhone 6S and the like. Now, they do believe that they will have support in the coming weeks for anything up to iPhone 7 and that in general, it should be possible to get access to everything up to the iPhone 10, which is the last one that had the vulnerable A11 chip. 
As this Blackbird vulnerability is a fundamental problem with uh, the secure enclave of uh, these older CPUs, it's not necessarily patchable with an operating system update, but it can be mitigated somewhat, which is uh, why uh, it takes a new exploit and why they're having uh, some issues getting it working on some of these newer phones. Well, that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.